Okay, so problem number three is the largest prime factor problem. And if we just take a look at this one, what it says is that the prime factors of uh, 13195 are 5, 7, 13, and 9. And what prime factors means is prime numbers that you can multiply together to get back the original number. So, for example, um, if you multiply all of these together, you can see that we get back 13195 like this. So what we want to do is, if we take in a number right here, we need to create a function that returns its largest prime factor. So for in the case of 13195, as we can see, it should be equal to 29 like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is write out the function. The function is called largest prime factor, and it's going to take in a number. And... I'm also going to write out a quick test for this, so I'll say console.log result is, and uh, let's just try running this with this number right here. There we go. So the algorithm that we're going to be using for the largest prime factor will look something like this. So what we're going to do is to the number, we'll divide it by two as much as possible because two is the smallest prime number we have. And then we keep dividing by the smallest odd number possible each time until the quotient. So the quotient is basically when you divide um, a number by something, it's basically the result of the division. So that's called a quotient. We wanna do this until the quotient is equal to one. Um, by the way, this isn't the most efficient algorithm, but it is the simplest one to understand. So let's say we have this number of call, uh, 52780. We divide by 2 once, we divide by 2 twice, and then we can't divide by 2 anymore. So we'll try dividing by 3. We can't do that, but we can divide by 5, so we'll divide by 5. And we can't divide by 5 a second time, so we'll divide by 7. And we can't divide by 7, 9, or 11 this time, so we'll divide by 13. And finally, we get up to 29, and we can't. We tr keep trying all the odd numbers up to the value right here, which is 29. And, uh, or we just keep going, actually. And finally, we realize that we can divide by 29, and we get to 1. And the quotient is now 1, so we'll stop. And the... What we'll do each time is along the way we'll have a variable to keep track of the latest number we manage to divide by and that will be equal to the largest prime factor which in this case is 29. And all the numbers that we successfully manage to divide by if we follow this algorithm will always be prime. So all of these numbers are prime for a reason. Like we, if you notice here we couldn't divide by 9 right here and that's because um, uh, if if we if we could divide by a number that has additional factors like nine, for example, we would have been able to divide by three earlier when we tried it. So this method will ensure that all the numbers that we manage to divide by, if we start with the smallest and work upwards, and they'll always be prime numbers like this. So the first thing we want to do is set up a variable to um, store the largest number or the latest number that we divided by. And I'm just going to call this maybe a latest divisor. A divisor is a number you divide by, so divisor. And I'm going to start it off at 2 because... Um, that's that's the first number that we'll always try to divide by. And at the end, I'm just going to say return latest divisor. Because like I said before, um, whatever number that we manage to successfully divide by last um, is basically going to be our, um, our answer. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to also actually create a variable to keep track of the quotient. And remember, the quotient is basically... Uh, the result of the division and to start off with I'm just going to start off with the number because that's this number right here so the first thing we want to do is we want to keep dividing by 2 as much as possible um, so what we want to do here is say while um, quotient percentage 2 is equal to 0 so while quotient is even or while the quotient which is this number again can be divided by 2 uh, what we want to do is we want to just keep dividing it by 2 because, um, yeah, we just want to keep dividing it by 2. Actually, I should move this to here, like this. So, yeah, we will keep dividing by 2 as much as we 
much as we can and always the latest device that we which is the latest number that we divided by will be two at this stage so now we've divided by two as much as possible so now we can only divide by odd numbers so the remaining factors are odd numbers and like i said before what we're going to be doing is working through all the odd numbers until the quotient is equal to one right here so what we want to do here is a while quotient uh, is greater than 1 so we want to keep dividing while it's greater than 1 because we want to stop when it's equal to 1 and we want to start off with the divisor being 3 so I'll have another variable called divisor which is the number that we're going to be dividing by and I'm going to set that equal to 3 to start off with because we're working through all the odd numbers and we want to start with 3 so what I want to do here is say um, if quotient percentage divisor is equal to zero so if we can divide by um, whatever the current divisor is so again we'll start off with three but then we'll go to five seven etc if we can divide it and we get no remainder so that means we can't divide it we want to make sure that the latest divisor is set to divisor which is our current divisor and we want to make sure that we get update quotient to be quotient to divided by divisor To move this one here again um for example here the divisor is five and the quotient is one three one nine five so we'll um basically set the latest divisor to five here and then we'll update the quotient to one three one nine five over five which is two six three nine so we've divided it essentially so we have it right there and the next thing to do is basically just move the divisor along because remember this um this should be a while loop actually because we should divide while we're while the um, while we're able to divide we should keep dividing over and over again um, and then what we can do is once we can't divide by that divisor anymore it's time to move on to the next divisor so for example here we can't divide by five anymore so we want to move on to seven and to do this we want to make sure that we um, set divisor equals divisor over uh, plus two since we're working with odd numbers so again we'll start off with three we'll divide by three as much as possible and if we can't do that anymore we'll move on to five then we'll divide by five as much as possible and uh, if that's not possible anymore then we'll move on to seven and so on right here and each time we manage to do a successful division we'll set this latest divisor variable right here to the latest number that we divided by or the the most recent divisor which is this part right here and again, um, all of anything we do manage to success, successfully divide by will be prime because if it had any factors, we would have been able to divide by it beforehand. So once this is all finished, then we can just return the latest divisor right here. And again, remember that this will stop when this quotient part right here it gets to one. So let's try this out. So the first one says that if we do it with two, it should return two. So let's try it. And we know that it should return 2 because once we divide 2 by 2, the quotient is going to be um, equal to 1 because 2 over 2 is 1. So this part shouldn't even run. But let's try this. And we can see that 2 gets printed. Then it says that if we do it with 3, it should be 3. So let's try that. And we can see 3 gets printed. So the next one says that if we do it with 5, it should return 5. So five save and then run again and we can see five and it also said that seven should be equal to seven so let's see didn't save it my bad yep seven and let's see one three one nine five should be 29 so we should already know this one but let's try this again so one three one nine five is equal to 29 and the last one which is this huge number right here I think that's like um, 600 trillion or something that should be equal to 6857 so let's try this out again this isn't the most efficient algorithm but this is the one that I felt like I could explain the best and yeah we get the 6857 um, Another thing we could potentially do is maybe like print out the prime factors. So each time we manage to make a division, we could do something like like this. Uh, 
um, I don't know, it might make it a bit nicer to see. So here we can see that it, all the stuff gets printed out. But essentially the function is working correctly. And as you can see that we can, oops, we can find the, um, we can find the uh, largest prime factor each time. So let's go ahead and submit that. And if we save that now and then run the tests, um, we can see that it passes successfully. And um, you can actually also submit the, your um, answer to the official Project Euler um, progress tracker. And it basically asks for this number right here. So all we want to do is just basically um, put this number into here and run this. And then we want to just input our result and it will also mark it for us. So this is separate from free code camp. Um, it might take a while for it to mark it, but hopefully we should see that it works. Again, if you have any questions about this um, algorithm or something on you need something explained a bit more, just leave a comment and I'll do that. Yep, yeah, and as we can see, uh, we have problem three now completed.